friends. Welcome to Okanary at Home. My name's Lacey and today we're going to be making painted wooden faces. We all have a face and our faces are made up of different shapes and colors and features that make each one unique. In the studio, when I teach a lesson about faces, whether it's drawing or collage or putting a face together with wood parts like we are today, I love to read this book. So I'm gonna read this with you today. It's called Two Eyes, a Nose, and a Mouth by Rebetta Grobel and Trader. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. They're the first thing that we see on millions and millions of faces from Tibet to Tennessee. Some eyes are shaped like almonds. Others are big and round. And what about the eyebrows? Why, all kinds can be found. Noses can be short and wide, or turn out long and bumpy. Some are small and curve up, and some are kind of lumpy. When it comes to mouths, it's plain to see the variety is just fine. Some have lips that are full and broad, while others are as thin as a line. Isn't it amazing how changing a feature or two <gasps> makes millions and millions of faces and yet no one looks just like you? Imagine how dull the world would be if everyone looked like you or me. <gasps> over and over we'd see the same face till we'd wish for another to take its place. How lucky we are that the world isn't that way. Our differences make us special wouldn't you say? Wasn't that a great book? It's one of my favorite books about faces. So, today you're going to get to make your own face. It might not be a face that looks just like yours. It's a face that's going to be made of a wooden circle. Most of our faces, well, all of our faces have a roundness to it. But are they a perfect circle? No, not always. We're gonna be using a perfect circle today though. We'll also be using wooden pieces and paints to add bright colors to our face. So in your Oak Canary at Home kit, you're gonna have an eight inch wooden circle. It's got a little hole drilled at the top. You're going to have an assortment of wooden pieces for which you'll choose to make the features of your face. Wood glue wood beads and a wire, a paintbrush, three different types of paints. You'll also maybe need um, a little bowl of water from home and then any sort of, I might use a little black oil pastel today to create smaller details on my face. So any other drawing materials or other paints that you'd like to incorporate from home might make your face even more special. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is choose the wooden shapes that you're going to use to make the features of your face. Now the features of your face, like the book said, are the parts that make up your face. So what are some of the features of your face? The eyes. How many? We have two. We have a nose. We have a mouth. Right now you can't see them, but you might have ears. Um, eyebrows, cheeks, you can think of any type of feature on your face and show that through your wood parts. So I'm going to pull some wooden parts from my tray and start to explore arranging them onto my face to see what I like to use for the different features. Right away, I know that this shape reminds me of a nose. So I'm just going to place that where I think the nose would go. 
I'm not gonna glue it yet. I'm just kind of arranging to see what I like first. Gonna move on to shapes that remind me of eyes. Usually eyes are kind of round. You can overlap your wooden shapes to create even more detail. So I'm gonna put this little um, round shape on top of this circle. And I can even move it and create some expression in the eye like he's looking this way. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for this eye. Maybe overlap over here. Now I need eyebrows. Some of these might work well. And eyebrows usually go right over the eyes. They could go straight like this, or what, ooh, what happens if I curve them in? Angry. I'm gonna make them straight over the eyes. What if, what happens if I go like that? It kind of brings the face down, it looks a little bit sad. So I have eyes, a nose, and eyebrows. What should I make next? So, what shapes would be best for a mouth? Well, it depends what I want my mouth to look like. We could use this kind of loop to create a face that looks very surprised. Or I could take some of these triangles and create teeth. Don't forget about ears, if you want ears. If it were a person, the ears would go kind of like that. But maybe you wanna turn it into an animal. Once you have arranged the wooden shapes that you want for your facial features, then we can start thinking about adding color, painting them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint all of the individual pieces first, and then we're gonna think about possibly gluing them down. So I'm gonna drop all the pieces off my circle, and I'm gonna start to paint my circle first. So you'll have three different colors to work with. You can always add other colors from your paint collection at home, or you can mix your colors to make new colors. So I've decided that I wanna paint my, the circle of my face, kind of the background of my face, um, this bright neon red color. So I'm gonna take my brush, dip, dip, and I'm gonna start to cover. So I put a nice even coat of paint onto this wooden circle. So I'm finished with that part. Now I'm going to decide what colors I want to use for the different parts of my face. I'm going to start with the eyes. So for my eyes, I have these kind of overlapped shapes. This is the big part of the eye and this is like the pupil of the iris here. So I want to do these in different colors. I'm going to do this part with our yellow today. Maybe I'll do these blue. I'm gonna start with this yellow. And now I'm gonna wash my brush and switch to blue. So I'm gonna wash, wash, wash. And we're gonna dry on a paper towel. Get some of that yellow off. Because these are small pieces, your hands are going to get a little painty. But that's okay, we call those artist hands. I like the way that that wood color looks against this, against this bright neon red color. So I'm going to leave the nose without any paint. Now for the mouth, I think I'm going to mix some colors together. I'm thinking maybe um, mixing the neon red with the yellow to make some. Let's see what happens. Wash, wash, wash that brush to get the blue off. Dry, dry, dry. I'll start with a little yellow. Cover that with the yellow first. I think is a stronger color than the yellow, so I'm not going to use as much. It's kind of creating this nice light neon orange. 
I think that will look really nice against my bright neon red. Okay, and finally for the eyebrows, I wanna try uh, my oil pastel. I'm just gonna use that. Remember, it can be any drawing material from home. If you wanna add a different color, you don't have to, but you can just use the paints that we provide, or you can use drawing materials from home to add a new color. I'm gonna make these dark, bushy eyebrows. So one thing I love about this project is that there's two different ways to complete it. So you could kind of stop here and it becomes a toy, like a, a face arranging toy. You could even like paint other shapes that are included in your pack that you didn't choose on the first round and you can just use it to play around and make new faces all the time. So I could take these and Let's see, this is the way I wanted it to be when I planned it. But we can move these shapes around and turn it into a new kind of face. Or, you can use your wood glue to glue down your facial features just the way that you like and create a hanger with your wire and wooden beads. Put a little glue on the shape. This is wood glue, it's really sticky. And place it where I want it. Three, four, five. And you'll repeat that with all of your shapes. If you have like a round surface on any of the pieces that you are gluing to your face, you might need to include a little more glue than you would a flat piece. So if you wanna complete your face by creating a hanger so you can hang it on the wall, then this is what your wire and your beads are for. So you will poke your wire through this hole that we've drilled for you. Poke that through the hole and pull it around. Be a little bit careful because sometimes the wire at the end is kind of pointy. And then if you'd like to, you can take some beads and put them onto the wire. Feel like you're finished, you can just twist your wire around itself a few times and that will stay in place. This can be trimmed. And that creates a fun little hanger that can be hung from a nail on the wall. Now it's your turn. I can't wait to see what your face will look like. I bet it'll be really different than mine. Remember, our differences make us special and our differences should be celebrated. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Be sure to tag us on Instagram at Okanary Art to show us your work. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great lessons.